Hi there, I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about It Wasn't Your Fault. So, I know that in a lot of the videos that I do, I'm sharing things with you to help you understand possible mistakes that you've made in a relationship. Maybe you were doing things that were anxious or needy and clingy that led you to being controlling or losing emotional self-control. On the other hand, maybe you were doing something where you didn't understand your partner's emotional needs and they were feeling like you weren't really there for them, you were abandoning them and, you know, maybe they felt like you didn't care about their feelings or their needs. However, there are times where it's none of those things and someone could break up with you for something completely unrelated to you. And it doesn't make a breakup any less painful even if you're not at fault. As a matter of fact, it's a different kind of frustration because you may have done everything right and they still left you. So at that point, it's kind of frustrating because you're like, well, if I did everything right and they still left me, then what do I do? So sometimes it's just the other person. They may have had an attachment disorder or attachment trauma, so they can't handle a relationship. There are plenty of reasons why someone might break up with you and it could be completely unrelated to you. And I have an email here from a woman who's kind of in that situation. This is um, a little bit of a longer email, I would say, but I think you're going to see that I think she did a good job in this relationship. And you might be in this position where somebody left you and you're like baffled as to why they would do it. So, uh, let me go ahead and get into this email. And she says, uh, I asked her to tell me about the breakup. She said, Daryl and I had the most amazing relationship. It was like one you would read in a book. We clicked and got along so well. We never argued. We were best friends and we always wanted to help one another achieve their goals. Daryl has always faced many challenges in his life, such as trying to get his permanent residence in his country. His dad got his family into debt, which Daryl had to get them out of. She mentions that his family lives overseas. Now, that doesn't seem fair to me that this guy has all this pressure on him to be responsible for his family when it, you know, his dad is getting them into debt. So this seems like a tremendous amount of pressure on this guy. And I think that this is going to play a lot into what happened in their relationship. She goes on to say that all of this stress and no money put pressure on him. Most times we couldn't go away on holidays or even weekends because we couldn't afford to. I never let this worry me because I knew that one day our time would come where we could go and do those things. It just wasn't right now. I was always very supportive and would often talk about talk through things with him even when he was feeling down or stressed about the situation. She sounds incredibly thoughtful and understanding here, doesn't she guys? I mean completely understanding that they don't have the money to do things, completely understanding that she's, or that he's stressed over money. I mean, she is showing him that she's a good partner. She says, I would give him options and it was good for him to talk about it. Otherwise, he would let them boil inside and then he would explode. Now, I don't know this part left me a little bit confused here because she said it would boil in him and then he would explode. I don't know if he actually exploded or if she's saying I was giving him options to do so and if he didn't then he would have exploded. So I don't know, that left me a little confused because that could be a red flag if he wasn't talking about things and he was exploding. Obviously that shows he is a little unstable emotionally and he can't handle things so there was some confusion there 
She said, about four and a half months ago, we were out for dinner and he said he can't do this anymore and that he would move out. His reason for the breakup was he wanted to be on his own and achieve the things he hadn't been able to achieve due to no money. And once he got his permanent residence, he would be able to do it all. What? What does this have to do with her? How does being in a relationship keep him from being able to do the quote-unquote things he hadn't been able to do? He makes it seem like it's one or the other, not both. I mean, this seems like a completely irrational thought or belief to me there are tremendous amounts of couples every day that are successful and achieve the things that they want with each other's help, right? Not in spite of them. And this girl sounds supportive and helpful. How is she the reason that he doesn't have what he wants? Sounds like it's a story that he's telling himself. I don't know. But this sounds like a key part of what's going on in this breakup. But... You know, breakups are supposed to double the joy, divide the grief. This girl certainly sounds like she's trying to divide the grief. And his thinking is odd to me. I mean, he's acting like she's holding him back, but it doesn't seem like, based on what she's saying, she's doing that. All right. The other thing that's confusing to me is that if they break up and he moves out, that means he's going to have to pay a lot more expenses. So even financially, this doesn't make any sense to me. Because living with somebody should cut your expenses in half if you're splitting the bills, right? All right. Let me go on. She says, it was so left field and I was devastated. Yeah, can you imagine? This girl had all these incredible things to say about the relationship and out of nowhere he says, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. She says, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. I always thought that we would get married and have kids down the road. And also achieve things together as a couple. Yeah, exactly. And I know exactly how you feel. I've been in this situation where I was blindsided by a breakup and it is crushing. And I am so sorry she's going through this because she sounds like a really nice girl. And it's so painful to go through this. I mean, it's literally like a death. It feels like a death. Um, she goes on to say, I saw him two weeks ago at his brother's birthday dinner. Leading up to his birthday, we had contact at least once a week and sometimes a bit longer. After that night, I saw him and I made a pact with myself that I wasn't going to contact him as I wanted to see if he would contact me. It's been two weeks and nothing. Yeah, so now you know she's anxious as hell. You know it's driving her crazy inside. She hasn't heard from him in two weeks. She's probably checking the phone nonstop, unable to sleep, eat, sick to her stomach. She's just in this fog where she can't stop thinking about him, I'm sure. Because that's what happens to us when we lose our a loved one or, you know, a caregiver or a partner. All right, so I asked her how she handled the breakup, and she said, When he told me it was over, of course I was crying, and I was saying, I cannot believe this is happening. Our relationship is the most amazing relationship. He told her on a Friday, and he moved out on a Monday. This is awful. I mean, this is just a terrible situation for her, and it makes no sense to me. This is extremely traumatizing. I mean... All of a sudden, he says to you, this isn't working for me, I'm moving out, and then three days later, he's gone. I mean, it's, it's one thing if you've been fighting for a while, or there's problems in the relationship, but when you're getting along great, and you have a good relationship, and then for somebody to say they're leaving you, that makes it a lot harder. 
She said, we had the weekend together, and granted, I did cry on and off those two days before he moved out, crying and said, he, he was also crying and said that I'm the most amazing person he had ever met and that he loved me. Then why the hell is he leaving you? What is going on with this guy? What could be more important to someone than the most amazing person they've ever met? Does that add up to you? Because it ain't adding up to me. Is he lying just to soften the blow? Does he not mean these things? It's possible. Maybe he's just saying that. But I don't know. I mean, I, I get the feeling like this girl is probably pretty accurate with telling me what's going on here. I don't think she's in denial here. I think she's... I think she's just in a tough situation. I don't know what's going on with this guy. Um, in the first two weeks he moved out, he was contacting me. She said she didn't initiate anything. And he did catch up, or they did catch up, and she always acted strong in front of him, but then she would break, uh, he would bring up the breakup, and it would bring her to tears. Why is he, what is he doing here? After that, I never cried in front of him, and have always been happy, funny, etc. in her pres in his presence. All right. In the four months since the breakup, we have been in contact and would say that it's probably 60% her contacting him, 40% him. And when he she does contact him, he would always suggest that they get to dinner, you know, go out to dinner to catch up. And she asked if he was waiting for her to contact him. I'm not sure. I don't think so, but he obviously still does interest in you, uh, because when he when you do contact him, he's he's trying to sit, to see you and set a date. Now this is where it gets a little odd. His brother still lives in my house with me, which is good for me as I just moved there to be with him, and she doesn't know any other people. Um, except for the people she works with. Uh, she says, I don't discuss anything with his brother, and his brother doesn't talk to me about Daryl. Now, I guarantee that the brother is telling him everything that she's doing. I guarantee it. All right. So, I went away on an ho overseas holiday for about two months after the breakup. While I was away for three weeks, he contacted me every day, and when I got back, we caught up uh, a lot, even to the point where we slept together two weeks after my return from the holiday. All right, so what do I think happened here? I think she was gone, she was away, and this really set off his separation anxiety. He didn't know where you were, he didn't know what you were doing, this is the first time you were really out of his life, right? Because the brother couldn't tell him what you were doing. No updates from him. So, what do I tell you guys? Anxiety is the root of desire. He was anxious about you being gone, and it made him desire you. Hence, the interest level sh shooting up, skyrocketing. Let me go on. I didn't read into it too much, however... I did take away that he was still attracted to me. We did catch up a couple of times after the hookup, and I felt found him to be a bit standoffish. I never brought up as uh, the sleeping together and acted like it never happened. About one month after the hookup, I invited him over for dinner, which was kind of seeing if he would come or not. Uh, the three of us had dinner, Daryl, his brother, and me. When he was leaving, I walked into the car and he started kissing me. He then made a comment that I was turning him on and that he should go. Since the kissing he or we had at the brother's birthday, and now it's been two weeks with no contact. Yeah, so now our anxiety is really going up. And I can understand you guys, if you're in that situation where you haven't heard from somebody in a couple weeks, 
It's like torture, isn't it? Where you're just staring at the phone, you can't sleep, you can't stop thinking about it, you're obsessive. Tough. She says, when they're together, they're laughing and joking, and he gives her hugs. And here's another odd part to the story. I also want to make note that we still have a joint bank account, which is where our rent comes out of. She didn't tell me this, but I'm wondering if, if he has access to her account, can he see everything that you're doing? I, I, I mean, I don't know if it's just a specific account for the rent, or if he can see, like, where you're going, what you're doing, you know, what you're buying with your credit card or your debit card. Um, because he shouldn't be able to see that stuff anymore. If, if he has all this information, it's going to put him in this position of power where he's not going to feel anxiety, he's not going to feel lost, because he's going to know everything that's going on in your life. Uh, the more he knows, the less anxious he's going to be. And we, we need to kind of cut him off so he starts to feel anxiety again. Now, this is the one major problem that I had with this guy. Well, that's not true. The way he broke up with her and that whole reasoning is bizarre to me. And I, I have a problem with the way he handled that. But this was a red flag, what happened here too. He said, while I'm living in the house, he will continue to pay half of the rent, which I now know his brother is paying it and the bills. So this guy is acting like he's paying half the bills, half the rent, and he's not? He's lying? Why is he saying he's paying it if he isn't? That's not fair. I don't like that at all. That's a load of garbage to me. Sends off a red flag. She said, I have brought this up to him and said, I don't feel comfortable with him paying the bills. And he said, for me not to bring it up again, and he will go on paying for as long as he likes. Don't bring it up again. I'm going to keep paying for as long as I like. First of all, you're not even paying it. Second of all, don't bring it up. Yeah, because you don't want to be confronted about not really doing it. You're lying, dude. That, this is garbage. What is this? What is this? Why are you acting like you're her hero if you're not? Why, why are you trying to take credit for that? I don't get that. Not okay. All right. So, let me sk skip a little bit here. She says, Daryl loved me the way any girl wishes to be loved. It was unconditional love. We would have random people come up to us on the street and say we're a beautiful couple, and you look like you're so in love. This used to happen all the time. I know I shouldn't read too much into this. This is hard for me. I feel like I lost the love of my life. Yeah, I really feel for this girl. I've been in a similar situation where I was with an ex and the relationship was an amazing and then all of a sudden it fell apart within a couple of weeks. Had to do with her age. She was only 23 at the time. This guy is like, I think he's in his 30s. And so it's not age. I don't know what's going on with him. I don't know if it's this whole financial situation that's putting a lot of stress on him. Doesn't make any sense to me why he would leave her over that, though. So, she wants to know, how do I get him back? Well, I think that she needs to reevaluate how she looks at this. It's not how does she get him back. It's going to be, he needs to get her back, too, because she didn't do anything wrong based on what she's telling me. Now, if she's leaving all that out, then I can't really help her. So guys, you have to be honest with me. From what everything that I read, she sounded like a great partner. And if anything, she should be hurt and angry by, by what he's done here. And she shouldn't be ready, willing, and able to jump in, back into a relationship with this guy. I mean, his reason for breaking up with her 
Doesn't sound good to me. Uh, either he's lying, he's hiding something, or he really just does have a poor reason for leaving her. I mean, this is the guy who said this is the most amazing woman he's ever met. I don't know about you, but I'm going to do everything that I can to make it work with the most amazing woman I've ever met. Aren't you? Right? You're going to walk away from the most amazing woman you've ever met because you're feeling some financial stress? And you got a supportive woman that would try and you stand by your side and support you? Ah. She seems like a great girl. I don't like his reason. He's literally, he's broken this woman's heart. Right? They were together for three years. And, you know, she's heartbroken now. I would not be so quick to jump back into a relationship with this guy. Especially when you didn't do anything wrong. Now, I think he's probably anxious about the financial situation. Therefore, what happens when we have anxiety, we lose empathy and understanding for the other person. So he probably is completely clueless as to how heartbroken she is, uh, my guess would be. Now, I think at some point he's going to revisit the idea of getting back with her. Personally, I don't think she should make it too easy for him. He needs to be anxious about losing you. Having access to your bank account, having a brother living with you that he can tell him where you are, what you're doing, that's not going to give him any anxiety over losing you. It's going to give him control. He needs to really start feeling anxious over losing you. And, and that's when he's going to want you back, because that's when he wanted you back before. When you were out of the country, he had no idea where you were, what you were doing, who you were with. Maybe you were with another guy. I wouldn't jump at an opportunity to see this guy. He needs to feel the loss here. He needs to feel some consequences for what he's done. Even if you ultimately decided to take him back, I would at least let him know that you're going to take your time jump, you know, getting back into this with him. Don't jump into it like you were right before the breakup. I would slowly take your time and find out what was going on with him that he would just walk away from you. And a three-year relationship and a commitment with reasons that don't add up to me. Um, you know... You, you want him to feel like you're moving on, and you should start to move on, but it's not going to be easy for you to when the brother's living there, I can tell you that. You're going to feel a lot of guilt trying to go out on a date knowing his brother is living with you. But you know what? He deserves it. He broke up with you. You need to move on. You need to heal. And, you know, you should consider going out on other dates. And if he asks you what's going on, just say, hey, you know, you broke up with me. I'm really hurt by what you did. I'm really upset by what you did. We had a great relationship. I would have stood by your side and you just walked away. So what am I supposed to do? Sit around pretending that everything's okay, that we're together or that you're coming back? You've never told me that you need some time. You want to work it out. No, you just left. So... Put it on him. You don't need to chase after this guy. He broke up with you and he like the way he did it was not okay. And he's lying about paying the bills. You know the brother's paying the bills. I wouldn't let him have access to the bank account anymore. I'd cut that off real quick. Um, I don't know what you're going to do about the situation with the brother. I personally don't think it's a good idea to keep living with him if you guys aren't going to get back together. Now, um, I feel bad for you. I feel bad for this girl. You know, this is not an easy breakup to go through. When you're with somebody and you think you have a great relationship and they just break up with you for a reason completely unrelated to you, that's really painful. That's so painful. Because then you can't even think to yourself, well, what can I do to make things better? If you're doing everything that you could, and everything was great, and it's an outside factor, 
it's tough, tough situation. So, um, those are my thoughts about this breakup. And if you want to get my help personally, go to my website, AskCraig.net. Sign up for the coaching option that works best for you. It's so easy to do. Right when you go on AskCraig.net, center of the page, it says schedule coaching. I get with you guys as soon as I can. Believe me, I, I am busy, but I am getting to you guys as quickly as I can because I know how anxious you are. I know what you're going through. Believe me, I've been in your shoes. I understand. So, if you like this video, put a like on there, leave your comments below, and subscribe to the channel because I post videos Monday through Friday. That's it for this video. I'm Coach Craig Kenneth, and I will talk with you soon.